When you arrive in Dollywood, make sure you're about 30 minutes early so you can avoid the long lines that are created by the cars waiting to pay for parking. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today, I am taking you to Dollywood. It opened up about 10 years ago when Dolly Parton took over and they have been revamping, refurbishing, and reinventing what this theme park should be like. So let's go check out some of these amazing roller coasters and some of the award-winning places in this space. You can buy your tickets online or at the booth, but security is going to be your rate limiting step in getting into the park in a timely manner. Be sure to check out the many other festivals that Dollywood has as well. When you come to Dollywood, you want to make sure to come during the flower and food festival here and this unique sky umbrella area. It's a great place to take pictures and they have fabulous food here. Some of it is award winning. We'll take you there. Before the food though, let's go have some Dollywood fun. Now let's show you how to optimize your time here at Dollywood to see all the rides in one day. First off, lightning rod. So when you come into the park, you want to make sure that you head immediately to the right, all the way to the back where you see lightning rod. This is the longest line in the park. If you hit it first thing in the morning, the wait time won't be as long. So we are here right when the park opens and we're, it's about a 20 minute wait already. I can't wait to go on this ride. They've redone about two thirds of the track. So hopefully it runs a little bit smoother because it is one of the oldest roller coasters in this park and is a wooden roller coaster. There are weight and height restrictions at the park, so be sure to test out the seats before getting on any ride in this park. Be sure to pay attention to all the little details throughout the park that makes you feel like you're either in the 1920s or way back in the 1800s. We took a quick stop at Blazing Fury. This is kind of like a ride through a haunted house with a few jolts at the end. Still pretty worth it, but maybe a little scary for kids. As you head over to the Tennessee Tornado, make sure you're paying attention to the hilarious signs on the walls inside the ride. The random wagon in the tree outside, as well as paraphernalia stuck in all sorts of places near this roller coaster. It's going to make you feel like you just stepped into a town that had a tornado blow through. It's, it's considered really the one of the best double looped roller coasters in the USA. Bit of an ear banger, but definitely worth it. The Fire Chaser is up next and it's actually one of my favorite rides because it goes both backwards and forwards, has real fire and a great storyline. Wild Eagle is one of those rides that mimics what it would feel like to be the animal. Get on this ride, your feet are dangling, and it feels like it's soaring through the canyon. Next up, head over to Timber Canyon to get on the Mystery Mine ride. When Dolly Parton was a child, she remembers sitting out in the big farm fields with these crop dusting planes that would come over the barns and do shows. After the show, they would even allow people to get on the planes with them. And this is what this ride is supposed to represent. Presenting the Barnstormer. You really can't come to Dollywood without riding on the Dollywood Express with the engine called Klondike Katie. This five mile train ride takes you on a slight incline up the mountain and a 20 minute ride around the park to give you a great layout and a little reprieve from walking all over the park. I wasn't a huge fan of all that pollution going into the air. It still was really fun to see the back entrance and back alleys of the park. 
and just have a little sit down relax. Next up is Wildwood Grove. This actually won a golden ticket for the children's area at Dollywood. It's one of the highest awards a theme park can win and Dollywood has won three of them. It was also named by Forbes as one of the best places to work in 2021. The festivals at Dollywood are second to none. They include the Flower and Food Festival, that is May and June, the Summer Celebration in July, the Thrills and Hills and Harvest Festival, and Smoky Mountain Christmas. Dollywood is known for its many musical shows, but you may not know it's also known for the Eagle's Nest Show that works very closely with the American Eagle Foundation to help fund and protect the non-releasable birds of prey and provide education. It's chow time! If you come to Dollywood, you have to try some of their sugary cinnamon bread at the grist mill. It has a crispy top and gooey inside, just perfect for some cinnamon bread. It costs about $9.99 and I recommend getting the apple butter to go with it. So good. So if you go around the corner up by Barnstormer, there's this back entrance to the grist mill where you can skip the line. There are definitely many theme park snacks throughout Dollywood, but I suggest going to the award-winning Aunt Granny's restaurant. This restaurant won an award for the best theme park restaurant in the USA. Now that's something. I suggest going as a group because it is a buffet family style. Now you don't actually go and dish your own food. They bring it to you, but it is refillable and incredibly delicious. None of the meat was dry and there was just enough flavoring without oversaturating it with butter. Highly recommend it. If things are getting a little too hot here, they do have two water rides here at Dollywood and an entire Dollywood Splash Country. The Splash Country is a 35 acre water park. It's right next to Dollywood in Pigeon Forge. It was named by USA Today as one of the top 10 water parks in the country. Now, we didn't get a chance to go over there, but when we get back, I definitely wanna go in the 1500 foot Lazy River. Now let's get into some of the secrets of Dollywood like Craftsman Village, where you can go and see how they make leather items like this one. I always admire people that can do the old crafts. They even have a blacksmith shop that's a working blacksmith shop. And you can even make your own blown glass Christmas ornament here. Or head over to church on a Sunday here at Dollywood. There are little secrets throughout the park, like these fire hoses on Fire Chaser that are signed by volunteer EMTs and firefighters. You can even take a tour of Dolly Parton's old tour bus or go into a replica of her family home where she first got inspiration for all her award-winning music. Her mom helped decorate the home and her brother helped build it. And it was really humbling to see where this award-winning singer came from such humble dwellings and has such a big heart. You see, Dolly Parton knew what it was like to come from a very poor family that wasn't able to do much as a family. And that's why she created Dollywood, an affordable theme park where families can go and create memories. It's also part of the reason she built the Dream More Hotel and Resort, a place where families can gather and little girls can dream more like she used to on that front porch. If you go into the lobby, into the basement, you can find the wooden box with a melody and song that only Dolly knows and she will open on her 100th birthday. It also has a plank from her front porch with chipped blue paint from her home. Well, thanks for coming with me on my ride through Dollywood. It was such a fun day today. I wanted to thank Dollywood for sponsoring me to come here and enjoy some of the rides and explore this gorgeous little theme park. If you like this video or have any questions or comments, please leave them in the description box below. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share it with a friend because the more the merrier. See you in the next one, y'all. Bye.